All right, guys, it is baby time. <laughs> I'm still not ready. I'm like mentally not ready, guys. Or physically, I mean. I'm nervous. So, do you go this way? Oh, no. Okay. So we haven't been down here for a while. I didn't give an update on like why I stopped posting. <laughs> so basically we were on our last month of the pregnancy and I was like, we'll take a break. Now we are on our last two weeks of the pregnancy. I'm 38 weeks pregnant, went to my doctor's checkup and now we're at the hospital for labor and delivery for an emergency section. So that escalated really quickly. <laughs> yeah, that went from like zero to hundred <laughs> really quick. Um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. <laughs> I've never had a C-section before, so I'm really nervous. I'm scared, but It'll hopefully, fine, yeah. I get to be in the room. Hopefully, yeah. I don't know any of the steps. I don't have like any information or anything like that, so kind of nervous. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah. And it just sucks because we didn't even get to do like a hospital tour or anything like that because they didn't know which hospital I was gonna go to. And they were gonna supposed to tell me that today. So then today they were like, just go to this one. And I'm like, I don't <laughs> even get a, yeah, I was like, I don't even get a tour. I didn't get anything. Like, I'm in the lost here. They were like, labor and delivery, fifth floor. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So let's go, guys. Wasn't that bad. We made it. Yeah, we made it. And I'm just gonna slowly get there. Not that far, but we'll get there. Look, babe, this is the elevator that she was mentioning. You can use this one too. Yeah, just giving you a tour. Thank you for that. Thank you to for this To avoid store. getting let's there. Hope I, let's hope I can find my way back to the car. <laughs> it's like a maze here, guys. It actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't that big. The I'm other new, ones were bigger. I'm but all right, to... let's go. And she's finally admitted, guys. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm like speechless. <laughs> so just to give you guys a quick update right now, we are waiting for... The doctor they're gonna do a second ultrasound to do a second medical opinion right just to be a hundred percent yeah we just want to be a hundred percent sure because she, she said that there's one person ahead of us uh -huh. for the c-section so i asked if the doctor can because it's just like it was so rushed and it was like i asked the questions at the at the clinic but then i was like like it just doesn't matter uh you know are you, are, you, are you kind of in shock right now? Yeah, I'm kind of in shock because I'm like, okay. Like, I understood what he said, that the baby's position is a certain way. Yeah. If my water breaks, and I guess if I don't make it to the hospital in time. It'd be dangerous it could, to the baby. It could, yeah, it can end badly. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I get that part. I mean, I guess. I mean, yeah. I, I just guess, I, I guess we've never had. I mean, yeah, we've never experienced that before, so it's just like. At the end of the day, it doesn't hurt to get a second medical opinion, so we're going to go ahead and just do that just to be 110% sure that... Yeah, because, cause, well, I guess that's why I was, like, in kind of doubt, because I asked the nurse, and I told her, like, like, I kind of asked her, like, um, like the situation, and she said that we still have two weeks, so the baby could essentially still turn head down. I think the emergency is if the baby happens to... Uh, to come early right now yeah. yeah not be turned could be could be hazardous it's dangerous just like, it's so quick everything is so quick like i was at the clinic then we were home then we you gotta look at it like this car. though and then it's like they put me in this room so so quick like it, like yeah this, guys like this this is this is happening right here this is the room right here you gotta understand okay guys so it's a different experience too because we're at a different hospital uh this isn't where um all three, all three babies were born. All three babies were born in the same hospital. That's so in, insurance changed. So we're at a different hospital. So this is kind of a new experience. Even the way they're doing things is kind of different compared to... I just to feel like everything is so rushed and like I can't gather yeah. okay. my Here. emotions. Sorry. I felt like I was talking but I wasn't. But yeah. Okay, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because I was going to talk and I'm like, well, I should talk. In the okay. I'm a little nervous too, okay? Well, I just want, I mean, I'm happy that the baby is, if the baby comes today, I'm, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I would I'm love just, to take him home and, you know. It's just like know. I said, everything's just so rushed that I haven't had a chance to, like, gather all my emotions. And process everything. And the fact that it's like, I'm, I'm, I didn't have a C-section with any of the other kids, I'm like, I don't know what to expect, like, pain-wise, healing-wise, like, 
emotional wise i guess like i'm just kind of scared that it's going to be like different yeah well it's like everything's going so quick and it's like the doctor said like he's like i want to do the c-section before midnight and it's like it's already 8 p.m so it's like <laughs> yeah well guys that's the time so we will go ahead and keep you updated if for whatever reason i get kicked out of the room i'll keep you guys updated i'll have the camera on me at all times and we will let you know and if everything goes well we will have a healthy strong baby boy today either today or tomorrow depending on the time but we'll keep you guys updated all right guys we are getting ready for the second ultrasound just to confirm they brought in this thing ultrasound machine the doctor arrived which is so weird because for the baby not being head down I have like major discomfort down here and I've been having it yeah and I swore I thought I was dilated but I guess I wasn't okay. we'll see we'll see we'll see <laughs> okay. we just did the second ultrasound we did the second medical opinion and it looks like it's we're gonna go through it's with it. It's not really a second medical opinion, it was the same doctor's opinion. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was the same doctor, but um I'll Jay be, saw the vibe I was talking about. He has a really bad energy. He came in and was very defensive. He was, he was a little condescending. He was like, Look, you see, you see? He's like he came in very defensive. He didn't even he didn't even say hi to me. Just came in, didn't say bye, just walked out. It was honestly not too happy about the doctor but we are gonna go ahead and try to make the best out of the situation um we are gonna go through with the surgery with the c-section they gave me my stuff already i'm gonna be allowed in the room um so we're gonna have the baby hopefully in a couple couple hours he basically said okay so with the ultrasound he did show though that the baby's head is like way more up here yeah and his spine is like this way and his feet are more down yeah i thought he said the baby was like this at first but no the baby's way more feet down yeah which i've never had happen with any of the kids so that's scary yeah and um i asked him i was like would we have a chance of the baby turning back down you know head going head down but he says because we're past 38 weeks which we're 38 weeks in like a day or like day or two something there he said he it's says, not happening yeah he's like it's not gonna happen either. and he said he doesn't want to take his chances because it's the fourth pregnancy fourth baby and that it can happen anytime baby can come anytime and um yeah sorry guys the nurse walked in apparently i'm gonna get shaved never had that done before kinky it's a first have well, before coming. you know what? I should have done. Why would I do that? Why would I? Do I think I did that with Dana. I was like, "Let me shave for the doctors." <laughs> so, for the so doctor. dumb. Like what? So dumb. <laughs> Ooh, no hair. <laughs> Easy surgery. <laughs> but you know what? This is our last pregnancy. Yes. So I guess going out with the bang. Hopefully everything goes well. I mean, I just want the baby to be okay. But it's just like crazy to think that like so many things that are different from this pregnancy and the others yeah and to think that you know it would, have, it would be the last yeah All right nurse is coming we're getting shaved well me <laughs> I, I was watching the whole thing what do you mean oh what well, she was what well, she was trimming it she was like, zzz, zzz. Was like how did it look i don't think i mean there was like nice. overgrowth i had like you know managed it but it's really hard to manage with like a bump guys she even said it she was like that people normally say like I would have shaved at home if I would have known I had to. I told her straight up, I was like, I wouldn't have because I can't, like, I can't reach, so. I can't reach <laughs> So I'm glad you're doing it. <sighs> but okay, now the weight, the weight game. And Jay and I were just talking because I think just the other day, just like maybe a week or two ago, I told him, I was like, I'm scared to have a C-section. What if it ends up being a C-section? I'm like, if if it has to come down to it obviously you know baby's health will come first and we'll go through with it and well which is what we're doing right um but it was just crazy that i had brought it up and i told him i was like i feel like this pregnancy is different obviously <laughs> i haven't shared much of it on here but just the start of the pregnancy was rough you know the morning sickness prenatal depression like discomfort like the weight loss 
just everything and i told him i was like i just feel like i'm gonna end up having a c-section and i told him that and you know what maybe i spoke it into existence and lesson learned but it was just a feeling i had so here we are now but it's the wait oh hi hi <laughs> it's the wait game now positive we're not vibes, positive vibes, positive vibes. Okay. yeah we're on the last steps we did all the questionnaire we have everything done jay has his outfit we got yeah. the trim so we got all the information so i we're think good. from this point on we're ready to get the baby next clip should be the baby you're okay Look at Jay rocking his outfit. Ooh, strike a pose. Strike a pose. <laughs> So we just did the c-section uh well not we just did we it's been already actually already two hours um so after the c-section i went with the baby downstairs and carla stayed upstairs um i don't know what the holdup is so it has me a little bit nervous but the baby's right here i'll show you guys really quick I don't know if Carla wants to show the baby, reveal it together or not. So I'm going to do it right now. She may edit this out though, but I'll show you guys a quick glimpse. There he is. He's so perfect. So I'm all by myself right now. Carla's not here. I need to wait. They keep telling me one hour, one hour, one more hour. So I'm just waiting right now. Hopefully she'll be here soon. They told me I can go to sleep already if I want, make the bed, but I don't want to do that. I, I can't sleep right now. I just want to make sure that she's okay. So for now, we'll just wait. I'll give you an update as soon as she's in the room. Hopefully she's not too tired and we're able to, you know, give you guys an update. If not, then we'll see. So it has been a whole 12 hours, a little more. Well, Jay did his clip, which was like around what, 2 a.m.? It was 2 a.m. exact, yeah, yeah. 2 but, something. But the last time that I was on here was like a little before 10. It's currently 11 p.m., no, 11 a.m., sorry. 11 a.m. the next day and I don't know. I don't know what I want to say. Talk about the experience. Talk about um, the surgery. <laughs> well, that's why, like, I don't want someone to be watching this and get, get scared. scared. You know, I don't want to freak anyone out, but... Everyone's different. Yeah, everyone's different. So I'm just going to say that I 100% prefer <laughs> contractions and a vaginal <laughs> delivery over a C-section. That was... It was, it was a different experience. It was a sure. different experience. It I was, was in the room and it was different. Yeah. Much, much different. It was very cold. Not all, like, not only was the, like, I guess the OR cold itself, but just the whole feeling of it was just cold and it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel, it didn't feel what I'm used to. And maybe that's why it like took a toll on me. I'm gonna start crying right now <laughs> but the second I walked in that that room I just started crying and I couldn't help myself and then getting the anesthesia I was crying because it was so painful and then Jay walked in and I was just I couldn't hold myself together the whole procedure I was just crying I couldn't I could not keep myself together and then this little guy which you guys already met Jay showed him he gave me the biggest scare of my life because he came out so purple and he wasn't crying and then at one point 
it looked like he stopped breathing i'm not sure if he did or didn't but i just know that the nurses like covered our view so i panicked but then we heard him cry and so that gave me a little bit of relief and then after that relief it was just like a throw up experience it was just i could just feel not the pain of the c-section but i can feel the doctor with his hands in areas that should not be touched <laughs> i can feel him like squishing my like stomach and it just made me so nauseous like i felt like i was on a roller coaster that wouldn't stop and i just had to you know throw up more crying at the end when jay left with the baby because originally they were supposed to go back to the room that we were in which you guys saw but they didn't have enough nurses on that floor so they had to bring him down to the to the one because you know they have two they have labor and delivery and then once you have the baby they put you in a different room so they automatically brought him and the baby down here to our room where we are now and i got left in labor and delivery so that they can finish stitching me up and cleaning me up and i was there for about like two hours and a half by myself so it was just not a good experience you know having to go through that and then being alone and not being able to see the baby was very very hard <laughs> and very it took an emotional like drain on me so yeah that was not fun but we but got through it the worst is done no, no the worst is not done look at this look at this breakfast look at look at what i'm getting the worst is not done once i have yeah. a actual meal there's on this there's only one thing that can make you happy right now and it is a good meal so we will get that on film as soon as they're able to it is not a good meal i love hospital food guys i know how weird it sounds but i love hospital food like the breakfast lunch and dinner like i get so excited because you have to like check off what you want like i get so excited for hospital food so i'm like once i get the hospital food i feel like okay we're in the clear. So. It was all worth it. Well, no. The baby, of course, is all worth it. But, you know, the, <laughs> the food, the just, food is just like the icing on the cake. Like the here's your reward type of thing. <laughs> but, yeah. That was crazy. You were unbelievable, babe. You were good. You were awesome. You took it like a champ. No, I did not. Don't lie. I was you, crying like a little baby. Yes, but that's all right. I was like telling Jay, I was like, stop. I was like, tell them to stop. Jay's like, babe, I like Jay was like, I can't do anything. Babe, let me tell you something. If the tables were turned and that was me sitting down there or laying down there, I would have passed out. I would have. I did pass out. No, but I would have been like, <laughs> like you passed out, like you like you dozed off. It looked like you were like you like. It almost looked like your spirit left your body in my a weird way. spirit room. left my body? But I would have genuinely just <laughs> right there. Like, I would have been done. Well, so that's... So, you took it like a champ. I passed out once, like, Jay left. Once they took Jay and the baby. That's um what I was saying. They brought him down here. He's I stayed up there. So, I ended up passing out. Like, I just... I just... I couldn't. I passed out. And then I just remember them, like, transferring me to the bed. To a different bed from when you know they're doing the surgery mm -hmm. and then i passed out again and then i just woke up and it was like an hour later from when i woke up so i passed out fell asleep whatever and then i just remember being scared because i didn't see jay or the baby and i told the lady the nurse i was like where's the baby i was like where's my baby where's where's jay and then she was like they're downstairs and i was like like i was i woke up and i was so ready to hold the baby and i didn't get to do that and it was so sad but we're here now and he's right over there. Oh, which I cannot. I got you, I got you. Oh, he went back to sleep. He is a little, he was moving a little while ago. He had opened his eyes. He has quite the expression, guys. Like he can, he can really good, he can do a really good mad face. Oh, he's yawning. Oh, okay, leave you alone. Okay, I'll go. Love you, buddy. I love you. I can't wait to be home and like have him hold in, him hold him, set him in. feel yeah the best feeling and my most favorite part of this entire experience remembering from mia and even darius is that initial feeling when we're walking out this room they're pushing you down the wheelchair and you know you're carrying the baby and you know i pull up the car we load them in the car seat and we drive off that is by far my most favorite feeling i don't know why it's weird i think it's just like you you're driving off 
to like a new journey, a new experience, yeah. a new family member. So. Oh yeah, that's so I'm that's looking scary. forward to that. I'm looking forward to that part. That's I feel my like favorite my favorite part is the first night at home, like the first night at home, settling in, sleeps in his own bed, like waking up and you know, getting into that, you know, into that new feeling. Yeah, um, into like that new cycle, that new like. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite part. Well, but I'm just scared. I'm scared. Um, because normally by now, I, I with like the other pregnancies, I was up and walking like two hours after. It's already been a lot of hours, and I have not been able to get up. I can like still feel my legs are very very numb. My sides hurt. She's got my, the what is it, baby? The what leg massager the thing. Leg so massage. I like squeeze the compressors. And your cute little socks. And my yellow socks, like my back is hurting but i can't even move like if i try to move to like adjust my back then my that, that you feel cut, the pain? yeah it starts to hurt which i mean it's better now but it might be like the pain medicine yeah so i'm like scared to go home and not have this do you kind know of what they're giving medicine. you like what med medication i know this is something right here they just said pain medicine I sh oh no they're giving you oxy oh really that's what it says here 30 units of it oh well, they can give that through liquid, or my maybe I'm reading wrong. Oxytocin. I don't know. I thought she came and she would put something in the IV, which she said was pain medicine. I didn't know they had a bag up there. Yeah, there's two bags. <sighs> this is your IV fluid right here, but I don't know what this is unless it's the same thing. But there's they look different. I don't know. But I know it's monitored here, so they give it to you frequently. Yeah. You don't have well, a button to press when you want more. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm not in pain right now. It's just like discomfort. And then when I move, it's like a sore pain. I have a question for you. I'm just scared to go home and like not be able to move. I have a like... question for you and I'll do another one on camera. Do you feel like everything's put back in its right place? Because that's the thing. Now, I don't do it to scare you, but like, do you feel like all your organs I mean, are moving okay? Like, I don't know. I feel sore. Like, I definitely from feel... From the inside or the outside? Yeah, from the inside. Like, I Ooh. feel sore from the inside. Like, I feel like someone went up there and grabbed me. It's just a violation. I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like that? Only I could do that. Only you could do that. Only you could grab my <laughs> insides? Well, no, I grab your insides. But you know what I mean. Only I, I can violate like you on the inside. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why you gotta go there? Uh, you know what? After this experience, you don't even get to do that no more. <laughs> you can violate the outsides. Get away from my insides. That's an oh, invasion of privacy. Laugh. Don't make me laugh. That hurts. Okay, guys. We'll see you when Ooh, hopefully I get I like food. your undies. Like me. Those hospital undies. Those hospital undies? I yeah. know. Take a pair home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm stopped. <laughs> We'll Let's see stop. you guys in a bit. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Just giving you guys a quick update. Good morning. It's afternoon. I know. I just woke up. Last Guys, last night was brutal for both of us. We stayed up till, what was it, 6? 6, 6.30 in the morning? 6.30 a.m. He, the baby just wouldn't, he would not sleep. He would not, um, he was eating. He was feeding very little, but he just, he's a night owl. He was all over the place. He just wanted to like, be with us and stay up with us. And we were trying to go to bed and just, it wouldn't. We tried everything. So it wasn't until six in the morning that we officially got him to finally sleep. But I had warned you, because remember I told you I was like. And he's feeding like, right now. Like during the day, during, in the morning when I would wake up and I would tell you, yeah, I woke up at three, I woke up at five, I woke up at um four. Like yeah. I would wake up every hour to use the restroom and because of his strong kicks. And so I told you, I was like, when he's born, he's going to be doing that same routine. Yeah. So we experienced that last night and it was horrible. And he's been sleeping all morning. Yeah. So I we had to like force him to get up to feed. We definitely got a night owl in our hands. But we got food. But she got her food. I'd show you guys, but it's already been devoured. Been devoured. Well, actually, I couldn't. Well, that one's mine. Camera. This one's hers, actually. I could, oh, never mind. She ate more than me. <laughs> I couldn't find the camera in the morning, so I filmed myself on my phone eating breakfast. Oh, you did? Myself. 
Oh, wow. I was like all excited because it was my first meal. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because I had deja vu of it. I was like, I had deja vu of this exact same moment. Like I had a dream. Oh, that's so crazy. And I had got breakfast and then you woke up and I told you like I had breakfast and I recorded myself. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I had breakfast and now I'm terrified to go to the bathroom because I feel like I have to. Oh, oh. sorry, bye bye. Goodbye. I think he's done. Okay. He's done eating. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab him, and we are. Are you gonna burp him? <clears throat> yes, I'm gonna burp. I'm gonna hand the camera to you, actually. Here. Okay. Can you reach it from here or no? Yeah, I can grab it. All right, come on, little guy. You cannot. I cannot grab it. Grab it. <laughs> Okay, daddy's coming. I'm coming, little man. Oh, you still got that booby on you. Booby milk on you. Yeah, I think that's a booger. Oh, is that a booger? Oh, no. <sighs> okay, so what has happened? It has been like almost 24 hours. It has been almost a full day since we've came back on here. And in that full day... All I had was liquids. Did we show any of the liquids that we had? I don't think you even wanted to look at it, babe. Uh, you probably didn't. It was, the second totally one wasn't yeah. bad. The first one, what did you say, was carrot? No, the second one was... The first one was... They gave me weed of oat, and it was like... Yeah, nasty, was clumpy, gross. It reminded me a little bit of... um. What is it that when we went to Tennessee? What was it? The, the grits? The grits. It yeah, reminded but, me of grits. But it was, but it, no was already, it was already dry and like hard, so yeah. it was not good, guys. <laughs> And then the second meal, which was lunch, they brought me carrot and ginger soup, which was a little spicy. <laughs> there he is. Hi. And then a uh, third meal, which is dinner, they brought a butternut squash and apple soup, which was like, definitely looked like baby food and all that, but it was delicious, I devoured it. <laughs> I was like, that was the only actual meal I had. And then, we did walking yesterday we got up they took out the catheter for the peeing so i went to the restroom by myself yesterday peed <laughs> the little exciting things the goals <laughs> the goals we walked a little bit and then that's kind of it just went to the restroom twice and got up twice and then that was it and i was dying the pain the 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 pain medication which was the iv that they had plugged in they took off because i went to the restroom on my own so all that pain medication was wearing off as the baby is like wide awake at like one two in the morning and i was dying i couldn't i felt like i couldn't breathe i felt like i couldn't hold him i felt like i couldn't nurse him i felt like i was gonna pass out and I thought that they would put me on a schedule to bring me the pain medication but apparently i'd have to ask for it so finally, what was it, like four? I was you like, held on for so long. I held on for so long, that not knowing that I just needed to ask. And it was, it was like, it was a sharp, like, stabbing pain. Especially when I was feeding him, because I would try to get into, like, a comfort position, a comfortable position, and I couldn't find one. And I would just feel, like, a sharp pain just going through, like, the scar or the stitching. And it just, oh, felt so horrible. And finally at four, I was like, I'm hurting. <laughs> I was literally, I was like, I'm in pain. And she goes, okay, I'm coming. And then she gave me ibuprofen and she goes, you can ask for a stronger pain medication, which was Norco, like at six in the morning. So when six in the morning came, I was like, give it to me. I'm the dot. <laughs> I was like, give it to me. And then, yeah. And now I got into the routine where it's like, because the doctor came in as well early in the morning today and he's like if you're feeling pain just ask for your pain medication and i'm like okay but i also noticed that i'm getting a lot a lot of pain if my bladder gets full but i can't really tell when i have to go like when i have to go pee you don't feel this no i don't feel the sensation of like having to go no but then when i feel like so much pressure here like you i feel a time. big pressure i'm like wait i think i have to pee and then i go pee and it hurts so bad to get up and like actually go but it doesn't hurt when you're like going right yeah it hurts a little like it feels like pressure and oh. then it feels relieved and then when i get out of the restroom i feel okay i'm like oh i can walk perfectly well i don't think you're gonna be a fan of today then because i think the nurses are gonna get you to walk to, a little bit yeah and that's the plan because the, i think the game plan is 
to try to get us discharged by tomorrow. Yep, that's the game plan. But she needs to be like solid, able to walk and be mobile. Because they're not going to let her go home if she's in pain still. Yeah. I would assume. So, so yeah. So we're going to try, they're going to try to do a shower today. They're going to try to give me a shower today. And then we're going to try to do a lot more walking. Jay said he was going to take me down the hall for a walk. Yes, ma'am. I told him he can go by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The, I want to go see the garden area. No, you can go see it yourself. Look, I can see it from the window. I can see the trees. That's a dealership. <laughs> you Don't see make her. me laugh. I can see the trees. They look lovely. <laughs> they look lovely. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much has been our two days because we've been here for two days already. Two days already. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to be here today. And then we go home tomorrow, hopefully. Fingers crossed. They said if everything, if if I go number two, we're in the clear to go home tomorrow. So, oh, yes. Rooting on me. Gotta get you to poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because um earlier yesterday, the nurse was like, the minute you start getting gassy, we can give you solid foods. And I've never heard Carlos so quick say, but I've been farting all day. I did. <laughs> for like, no, you were like, I've been for... gassy all day. <laughs> That's. And yeah. the nurse looked at you like, oh, okay. Well. She's like, the second you pass gas, let me know. And you know, you'll be able to have breakfast. And I was like, I've been passing gas all day. Like, was I not supposed to? <laughs> like, where's my food? <laughs> yeah. And then she was like, oh, okay. And then also with like the pee, like I told when I went and everything, she was like, oh, you're good. Like I had gone fine and everything. So now we're just waiting on number two poop you don't feel it i know it's a little tmi right now but i'm trying to get home i don't know if i feel it or not but i'm kind of scared i'm like scared to go to push that's like the scariest po the scariest one even with like natural like vaginal delivery like yeah. it's scary to go number pushing. two yeah. yeah like it just feels weird can't they Ugh. just give you like a laxative they have been they've given me oh, they, they give me a laxative like every couple hours they give mm. the liquid thing so We'll see how it goes, guys. But we're gonna end off this vlog, our labor and delivery here, and then it we'll pick it up when we go home and you guys get to see the kids meet the baby. Their reaction. He's just Say chilling. Bye. Oh, is he asleep? No, he's bye. awake. He's fine. Say thank you for watching. <laughs>